This is Apex Math, and today we're going to talk about how we set up programs that specifically work with a child's own individual needs and help them to improve mathematics. So let's say that your child is learning how to combine like terms. This would be a skill that is taught in the sixth grade in the new Common Core Mathematics. So first we would provide a uh, lesson for your child. Then we would provide exercises online for your child to do. with answers. And then we would look for feedback. And we would adjust and create a new lesson based on your child's success. So each time we create a new video and new instruction, it's solely based on how well your child was able to pick up, learn, and be successful with the previous material. So here's an example. Just get a new screen here. All right, so let's do what combining like terms. So the first thing we might address is that what a like term is. What do we mean when we say like term? And we like to talk about things and link them back to the real world. So we might say that an orange is different from an apple. They have a relationship. They're both fruit. But we're not going to worry about the fact that they're both fruit now. We're just going to say that an orange is different from an apple. And if I have three oranges, plus two oranges, plus five apples, plus one apple. And I don't know, what do I get? Well, the answer would be that I can only add oranges to oranges and apples to apples. So the oranges can be added together and the apples can be added together. And notice what I do is I simply add the numbers in the front. I say, well, I have 3 plus 2 is 5. So I have 5 oranges and 5 plus 1, 6 apples. And that's it. So I can't combine these into a special kind of or apple thing. I have to say oranges are oranges and apples are apples. So we're going to do the same thing now, except instead of calling them oranges and apples, we're going to give them just little algebra letters, and we're going to call them x's and y's. So if I have three x's plus two x's plus five y's plus four y's, and 
Then again, if you know, this is, these are the X's. They're the same type of fruit. They are both like the oranges. So they can be combined together. 3 plus 2, I add the outsides, 3 plus 2, and I get 5. So I have 5 oranges or 5 X's. Here, I have 5 and 4 of the Y's for a total of 9 Y's. So I have 5X plus 9Y. Now that seems pretty easy for kids, and it remains to be easy until we start to confuse them with the rules that multiplication rules and addition rules are different. And that's where kids get confused and it starts to fall apart. So that's why I like to teach them side by side. And in many schools, students are taught addition rules and subtraction rules on one day. And then on a different day, they're taught multiplication and division rules a week later. They never mix the two together until they're tested. And then the student has trouble and gets an F because they start getting confused when they start seeing the different rules all mixed together. So if you start mixing them together from the beginning and you make it clear that each of these have different rules and what are the rules from the very beginning, students will be able to understand and make sense of those from the start. So that's what we're going to try to do here. open a new. Alright, so we have done the very simple 3x plus 2x is equal to 5x. But what happens, and that's addition, what happens if we multiply, which is also done in the sixth grade, and if I do 3x times 2x. How does that change things? Well, remember we what we did with addition is we did just the coefficients. We did 3 plus 2 and we got 5. So the math was on the coefficients was just what you would expect. So if I look at it this way and I do 3 times 2, I should get 6 for my number. And that part of it is correct. The difference lies in what we do with the algebra part of it, the x. In addition, you just carry along the x's for the ride. 3x's plus 2x's, you're just saying I've got three apples, I've got two more apples, so now of course I have five apples. But in multiplication, that's not what's going on. You're saying I have the number 3. I have an x, I have a number 2, I have another number x. And you're looking at it very differently. These are not, this and this are not tied together because they have the same operation here as the guy in the middle, which is different than what you can see is happening here, which this guy has a dot, but in the middle it has a plus. So the mix of this looks very different than the mix of this. So when they all have dots, something different is going to happen. Again, the numbers are still just going to multiply because two numbers multiply together and you get that. But when you multiply a variable times a variable, something different happens. If you take an x and you multiply it times an x, you get something called x squared. x squared means x times x. x to the third means x times x 
times x. So this power is just a different way to write the number of times you see a variable times itself. So breaking it down in teaching, adding and multiplying with very simple algebraic terms side by side is essential to the beginning of understanding and working with a simple algebra. So that's where we want our focus to be in one of these first lessons. So let's try that one more time. All right, so we're going to have 4x plus 2x plus 6x. And we're going to compare that to 4x times 2x times 6x. And let's look at how that's different. So if we think about it here, we have 4x's plus 2x's plus 6x's. That's, again, just like adding your apples. You have four of something, you add another two of them, and you add another six of them. That gives you 12 of whatever it is you had. You happen to have some x's on hand, so now you have 12 x's. Four apples plus two apples plus six apples is 12 apples. That's how addition works. Very easy. Now, how does multiplication differ? Remember, multiplication is actually this multiplication. All of these are multiplication. There are dots technically between everything here. So we're doing 4 times 2 times 6 to get our number. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 6 is 48. So our number is 48. Now what do we have left? We have 8x an x and an x. And they're all times each other. x times x times x. So is that 3x? No. Remember, anything with x times x times x is written as x to the 3 power. So the answer here is 48x to the 3rd. Multiplication. All right, we're going to give you some samples to try, and that's how we will end this lesson. So actually, I'll just erase this. So we'll do four x plus one x plus 1x, and we'll do 4x times 1x times 1x, and let's do 2x times 10x, and then 2x plus 10x. And see, go ahead and pause the video and get your solutions to these four problems. Pause it, write them down, and then come on back. All right, you should have gotten, if it's addition, you're just going to add 4x plus 1x is 5x plus 1x is 6x. You just add them like they're candy apples, oranges, whatever you want. Multiplication, remember you can spread apart all of these into multiplications. So you have 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. And then how many x's do you have? You have 3. So you have x to the third power. This next one is multiplication. So you're going to have 2 times x times 10 times x. 2 times 10 is 20. 
x, since you're multiplying x times x is x to the second power. Down here, you have to pay attention to your signs, is plus. So 2x plus 10x is just 2 apples plus 10 apples, 12 regular old apples, so just a plain x. So those are your answers. If you find that you did not get these right and you need more help, then we will go ahead and do more practice. If not, then we will move on and do a future lesson. But thanks for joining us at Apex Math.